This video is sponsored by JJ Drones, the droning veteran, and chilling in Indiana Carl. So this video is for Tad from Off the Hook Outdoors. I am challenging you to a river breakdown. I know you say that you don't like to fish rivers, but I bet you can do a good river breakdown for me. I'm looking for the areas of the Menominee River that go from Rivers Bend Campground in Iron Mountain, Michigan down to Cowboy Lake in uh, Iron Mountain slash Kingsford, Michigan, somewhere around there. It's, it's kind of like a border thing um, with the, the two cities, but it's a good, it's a place that Haley and I fish all the time and we're looking to get bigger fish than just the panfish we usually fish. So if you can do that for me, I would appreciate that. So, hashtag river breakdown to Off The Hook Outdoors. Welcome back to Off The Hook Outdoors. I'm Ted, your host. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a river breakdown from for Jason from JJ Drones of the Menominee River. Stay tuned, I hope you enjoy the video. So Jason from JJ Drones, one of my good friends, he fishes the Menominee River and he fishes a section from Rivers Bend down to Cowboy Lake. Uh, and in that stretch is about a 5.5 mile stretch of water that he uh, fishes in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually go to through, I researched the area and I'm gonna show you guys and tell you guys how I would fish this. The Menominee River is formed approximately 10 miles northwest of the Iron Mountain, Michigan. By the confluence of the Brule and Michigami rivers and formed the border between Wisconsin and Michigan. The river is known for its world-class smallmouth fishery. Since the river, river forms the boundary between Wisconsin and Michigan, there are special fi fishing regulations in effect. A Wisconsin resident does not need a Michigan fishing license and vice versa. The Menominee River has sandy, well-drained soil as well as steep bedrock knolls. The area supports extensive oak and pine barrens and jack pine forests. Most of the area is predominantly aspen and paper birch. So the Menominee River is known for its smallmouth bass fishing. It has great smallmouth bass fishing. It's also known for muskie, northern pike, bass, and walleye. Um, there's also panfish throughout the river, um, so it's fairly easy to get on the panfish. And I know Jason and Haley uh, fish for panfish, but we're going to try to get them on something bigger this year. So as I was doing my research, I found that there's a lot of dams uh, on this uh, river. So what that means is it's going to cause the water to slow down a little bit and almost fish like a lake in some areas. Um, so what I would do <clears throat> is I would actually fish it like a lake in some in the areas that you can do that. And what I mean by that is there's a lot of coves on the river. So what I would do is I would hit the weeds. There's a ton of weed areas, a lot of shallow areas back in the coves. So what I would do is I would fish for largemouth bass because that's the way I would fish because uh, that's what I love to do. So I would fish for largemouth bass with some, some uh, bass baits back in those coves. And then I would, uh, if I was fishing for smallmouth, what I would do is I would find points and secondary points. And I would also try to increase my odds by finding rocky points with creek channels because there's a lot of flowages that come into the river in different areas. So you would get a topographical map or a map of the area. I really couldn't find one online that gives you all the creek flowages into the river, but I'm sure you could get local, uh, with local knowledge you could find that out. Uh, but I would find the creek channels that are adjacent to like weeds and weed lines and rock. And if you can get those three key features in an area, I would definitely start there fishing for smallmouth, bass, muskie, all those fish will congregate in those areas. Okay, so I'm gonna give you some of the lures that I would use 
for bass, for largemouth bass back in the coves. Now, I'm not saying you can't catch largemouth in the deeper areas, but what I would do is I would go find the coves with the heaviest cover. And obviously you guys know that I like the frog fish and I'm trying to pass that on to Jason here and Haley, uh, but get your topwater frogs, your hollow body frogs, Throw them in the thickest, nastiest cover you can in those coves, those hard to reach areas where not a lot of fishermen are fishing. Uh, and I think that'll increase your odds of catching largemouth bass. Um, also buzz baits. Uh, if you have weed edges that are back in there, if you're looking at like four to eight foot of water, there's usually a weed line in that area. I would go with some spinner baits. You can use top water plugs in open areas uh, like the chug bug, the storm chug bug. So that's what I would start out with with largemouth bass if I was targeting that on the Menominee River. So targeting smallmouth bass on the Menominee River, I would find deep channels and rock. Uh, look for creek beds. Uh, I would use Ned rigs. I would use stick baits, swim baits. Definitely use some swim baits. You can use spinner baits in those areas too in the deeper. You just want a lower running spinner bait uh, to get down there. Uh, jerk baits are also a good uh, a good combo with that along with like a, a, a wacky style rig. You can do that like a jerk bait and wacky style in areas because then you have the jerk bait that you can actually have... You can run it in a, your pace. You can either speed it up or slow it down. And then if they really want something slow, you can throw in a wacky rig or a Ned rig in those areas. And that's how I would target smallmouth. Not to keep, but keep in mind, you can still catch smallmouth on top water. So chug bug also, poppers, uh, buzz baits. You can also pick up smallmouth that way also. So try it all and, you know, you sort of got to uh, experiment and see what the fish want that day. Okay, now go. we're going to go with the northern pike. A northern pike, in my eyes, are kind of not easy to catch, but they'll hit just about anything. You get a big swim bait, like a rubber sp swim bait, paddle tail, uh, spinner baits, big jerk baits, things like that. Uh, spoons, also like the Johnson minnow with a trailer on it, is also a good lure for the northern pike. And I would just target the northern pike off of weed lines in about 10 to 12 foot of water. Uh, in bends like you know in the coves on the outside of the coves there's always weed lines uh, so if you find a good weed line with like six foot of water that drops down into like eight to twelve foot of water that's where i would fish for the northern pike um, not to say you can't catch them in open water but that's the uh that's your high that's your high targeted areas and your high percentage areas are there so and then finally the muskie uh, i target muskies a lot in my lake in my area in pa here but what i would use myself i like the cast i don't like to troll you can troll crankbaits and things like that along the river if your boat's suited to do that uh, i prefer to cast areas that's just what i like to do so what i would use what i would be i would use rubber baits uh jerk baits i would use big uh plugs like a uh like a Leo lure, that's a PA style, that's made in PA. It's like a plug, it's a big, like a, a ripping plug. You can use that. Um, top water is tough with musky. Usually it's uh, low light situations, you wanna do that. So if you have that situation, by all means throw a top water plug for uh, musky. But my favorite is the glide baits. I love throwing glide baits with like a rubber tail or something like that. My preferred bait is a Manta Hang 10. It's a 10 inch long uh, bait and Laxol Perch is the color. And I really love throwing that in, air, in all areas that I fish for muskie. So I hope that helps Jason and Haley out. Uh, hopefully we get them on some fish. Now the panfish, we've talked about that. There's panfish all over that river. You can find an area with live bait. You can use uh, my plastics if you'd like to. Uh, so uh, check out my offthehookoutdoors.us uh, website and you can check out all the baits that I have on there right now. You, uh, I don't have any musky baits on there, but I do have bass and panfish baits on there. So, And once again, I hope this helps Jason and Haley out on their fishing excursions. I know they like to go out and camp. Uh, also, that River Bend Campground looks like a really nice campground, guys. So if you're in that area, please check out River Bend Campground. And let them know that I sent you. All right. Well, like I always say, please, when you get a chance, take a kid hunting or fishing. We'd like to preserve the sport for future generations. And we will see you.